February 17, Sixth Sunday in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke Jesus came down with the twelve and stood on a stretch of level ground with a great crowd of his disciples and a large number of the people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon. And raising his eyes toward his disciples, he said, Blessed are you who are poor, for the kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are now hungry, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who are now weeping, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude and insult you, and denounce your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice and leap for joy in that day. Behold, your reward will be great in heaven, for their ancestors treated the prophets in the same way. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are filled now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will grieve and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for their ancestors treated the false prophets in this way. The Gospel of the Lord When a person is truly blessed, there are people who seem to have everything. They are intelligent, kind, good-looking, of good family background, and socially well-connected. Some families are considered blessed for the priests or religious in their clan. Others can afford to do charitable works because they and their children are financially stable. If some do not have the above mention, they are said to be cursed or unfortunate. As my mother once described struggling relatives of ours, kinalimutan yatang basbasa ng Diyos ang pamilyang yan. Is this type of valuation correct? Who in fact is truly blessed or cursed? The Gospel is a shorter version of the Beatitudes from Luke. Unlike Matthew, Luke addresses the Beatitudes directly to his hearers, and not in the third person. This makes the Luke conversion more personal and direct. Also, while Matthew speaks of the poor in spirit, Luke speaks absolutely of the poor. Hence, the Luke and formulation seems to point more material poverty although he may also have other forms of poverty in mind. In any case, those who have no security in life, those who have little or no power, will possess the kingdom in the future. On the other hand, those who already enjoy material blessings in this life, or are praised and honored, and persecute those who are poor and disadvantaged now, can only expect the opposite. Woes await them. What is the message of the Beatitudes? Two things addressed to two groups. First, those who are poor and persecuted now, especially because they are disciples of Jesus, are given hope and encouragement to endure whatever they are suffering because God will surely reward their faithfulness and perseverance. Second, those who are the cause of the sufferings of Christ's followers are given a warning to change their lives before it is too late, as they surely will experience what the poor and the persecuted are now undergoing. There will be a reversal of fortune in the life to come.